Okay, uh, so this is Steve St. Pierre. Welcome to the very first EV charger that was installed here in Bucksport. The first public EV charger. Kirsten Steenberg from PowerWise installed this back in 2017 because he had a Chevy Volt at that time and then he decided to order a Tesla Model Y, which he drives to this day. And this, what, this is what started it all. There was so much activity at this free charger that the town decided to uh, get a uh, like a like a, a grant from uh, climate to thrive and uh, so now we have three EV chargers now in Bucksport. Hey Jeff Cutler it's Steven they got all of the docks in the Bucksport Harbor out in the water so whenever we want to record or you know do drone footage we'll have the you know we'll have the docks out and stuff like that so let me know when you want to get here okay all right bye bye now it was probably the middle of 2022 when i first went out to bucksport to do some filming and interviewing with steven and i discovered how passionate he was for the environment for solar and he's running a solar for bucksport uh facebook group he's also running for town council my name is stephen st peter jr and i love electric cars not only do i love electric cars but i love renewable energy and climate science we got you just heard talking was Stephen St. Peter Jr. And right here you see him walking from the two chargers at the Bucksport Town Landing. And what he was saying in that message was a year ago when we were trying to set up a, a video shoot, a drone shoot of this beautiful harbor, of the, the gorgeous town of Bucksport, of all the facilities. When we were trying to set that up, we were waiting to get all the stuff off the town landing. For some reason, the docks were all piled there fairly uh, late in the season uh, before going into the water. So we were trying to do a filming thing there, and we came up, and it was just blocked by docks. That sign you just saw it puts perspective globally as to where Bucksport is on the planet. And if you listen to Stephen, he'll explain that Bucksport is trying to get to the leading edge by having, having an interest in climate science, setting up chargers around town, setting up renewables, and actually having a a political infrastructure that focuses on the well-being of this entire town. So sometimes I'll sit right out here with my homemade sign, just to advertise the uh, the uh, EV chargers at 94 Main Street. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Give it time, right? Tourists should be coming through here anytime now. Now that we got the docks out and stuff, so yeah. In this clip here and in the next one, you'll be able to tell that the demand for EVs is high, the demand for energy is high. You have six cars queued up for two electric hoses, one charger with two hoses. This is not in Bucksport, this is in another town here in Maine, but it just shows the demand and the proliferation of electric cars across the state, and it's only going to continue. Okay, so a lot of these people that are movie stars, whatever, they can buy any car they want, but they'd rather choose electric over gas, and I love it. So this is the school that I went to from 1984 to 1989. That right there was the uh, library where I used to read about climate science and electric cars and climate change, pretty much. So that's that's definitely where it all began. So this is where I grew up from 1984 to 2015. This was my playground. I used to sit in the backyard as a child 
and dream about electric cars. I would often draw pictures of electric cars in detail. Oh man, what a beautiful childhood I had. Absolutely surrounded by woods and the natural sounds of birds and what have you. Man, oh man, gotta love it. Okay, so this is Bucksport's newest solar farm or solar project. This solar farm will be 20 acres of 20 acres of solar panels and will be in 30 acres total. Also, we have a solar farm that's being built on the outskirts of town uh, by where they used to store the trees for the mill and that's going to be a 20 acre solar farm. And plus, we also have that House of Pizza solar project that they just did. Um, and then we also have a solar array by the wastewater treatment plant. So there's more and more solar coming online. Now, I want everybody to get solar in this town. I think that'd be fantastic. And battery storage. So, as of now, I have ridden in 82 electric vehicles, including the F-150 Lightning. And, and the new Jeep 4xE Rubicon. And I've been in a Rivian too, by the way, now. So, and in the last video, I, I forgot the name of the Kia that me and Jeff were talking about. And it was the Kia EV6. Hey, what is up? This is Steve St. Peter. We are on the border of Bucksport here in Orland at the Tradewinds. Now, they have some great food, they've got some great wine, they've got everything you could dream about here at the Tradewinds. My friend Jeff is charging his Bolt right now, and it's free. Uh, it's a Leviton, level two. Come on down to Orland and uh, come and check this place out. I mean, they don't get as much traffic with this EV charger as much as the downtown ones get. So give them a give them a, a little shout out, a little love. Use their charters, eat their food. Come on down. Um, so when I'm in an electric car, it's much easier for me to breathe and not have to have phlegm. So if everybody drove a car that was electric and or plug-in hybrid, things would be much easier. People with asthma and people that have my disability. Oh my God, it'd be, it'd be like, wow. So last August, uh, the town installed two level two charters uh, right by the waterfront docks. And it was late August. And a lot of people were like, oh my God, there's EV charters. So I, I promoted them on Facebook and a lot of different places. Now this summer, you're gonna see an abundance of electric cars in this area and it's, it's a good thing that we're going to have electric car chargers because more and more people are ditching uh, the combustion engine. Um, there's more and more people here in town that want to go to electric cars and or plug-in hybrids. Raise awareness that we need more DC fast chargers, that we need more options uh, near amenities like restrooms, restaurants, clothing stores, secondhand shops. Love those, by the way. Um, let, let's get let's get more awareness. I want everybody to ditch gas, go electric. That's that's my mantra in life. When I was a little boy, at age eight, I had no friends. I was teased relentlessly. So I just want to thank Miss Dankel uh, for helping me uh, learn about it. I mean, she would spend hours upon hours finding research material. She'd find VHS tapes, and me and her would sit during lunch and stuff, and I would, you know, watch it with her, and she would help me with really hard words and stuff like that. So I want to say thank you. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Because of you, I'm the man that I am today. So I want to give a stark uh, warning to everybody. I mean, I know I'm goofy and stuff like that, but in the next 10 years, if we do not do something, we are royally fucked. So we had a, a major weather event, and I mean, the water was going up onto our wonderful walkway. And if it had been any closer, it would have hit our EV chargers. We got either 10 to 12 years 
switch now and get renewables on the fast track. President Biden, I'm talking to you, sir. I'm talking to you, Governor Mills. We need to get this going because if not, we are going to be suffering climate asphyxiation, shortage of food, water. People are going to be arguing, fighting. There's going to be a massive war if we do not do something now. You know, and at the beginning, there was like 30, 50, 100. And by now, it's like 1,129, but at one point it was 1,140. So if I could bring them up just a little bit more with this video, that'd be great. Um, so a lot of the people that are members of the group are YouTubers, like Mr. Purcell Artist from uh, Don't Waste Your Time, uh, uh, Kim Java, uh, Brandon Flash, um, and a whole host of other people. We also have a state senator, Seth Berry, who's a member who drives an electric car. Rock on. We also have the mayor of Huron, California, uh, Ray Leon. He's a member of the group. By the way, he has a, an awesome electric, uh, ca electric car sharing program in Huron, California. Check them out at Green Red Taros, uh on Facebook. Um, and there's a lot of people that are bullish on the electric car thing. And they like to learn a little bit more about electric cars. All right, what is up, guys? Like I said earlier, uh, we have two more chargers coming into Bucksport uh, here at, at the former Masonic Hall. Um, it's going to be at 83 Franklin Street. Uh, they're going to be level two. I wish they were DC fast chargers. I'm working on that. I'm working on it. Believe me, folks. Um, there's going to be approximately between Bucksport and Orland. There's going to be six EV chargers, and I mean, we're going to we're going to be busy this summer with all the tourists and stuff like that. So, hopefully, by next year we can have some DC fast chargers at the gas stations. Hi, this is Stephen St. Peter Jr., the owner of Electric Slash Solar for Bucksport, Maine. This movie is in memory of Nancy Dankel, the librarian who helped me find and research climate science. Folks, never give up on your dreams. Always research your dream and become a part of that dream. This movie is dedicated to you, Nancy. Godspeed.